paper kit here. I want to show you something on these line mortars. Now this line mortar you're looking at runs on gasoline, liquid gasoline. Now I'm going to show you the difference between this line mortar and the line mortar that I converted over so it runs on fumes. I'll go ahead and I'll start this line mortar, the original one that runs on gasoline. You notice, if I crank on it without using that primer ball, to inject gasoline into it, you have to do that. So you reach, reach over here and you have to prime the thing. And uh, I converted it over to vapor or fumes. Now, just to show you that uh, from the up and up. I can take the gas tank. It's completely empty. It's rusty, actually. It's in there. A dry rag. And I stuff it in there. Now, if there was gasoline in there, it would soak up. Pull it out, it's completely dry. There's nothing in there. This thing's been sitting all night. I had it running yesterday. First time, and I've actually got the garage door shut. I can leave this run a half an hour. And I wouldn't have to worry about it being being asphyxiated with carbon monoxide. Because when it's running on fumes, there's no carbon monoxide whatsoever. I told it one time.
this garage to where if I ran the other line more, my eyes would be burning now. I'd be choking. This thing smells like cookies that's been in an oven because of the fumes. No hydrocarbons whatsoever. This is the way that an engine should be ran on fumes, not liquid. As for any engine. Later on I'm going to take it and remodify it and I'm not even going to have this type of a system. I'll have some kind of a wicking system to where you don't even have to have air going in there to make it bubble. So I'll keep you posted. I thought I'd take a break from the HHO and uh, that's my fire alarm going off because of the heat. Catch you later. Vapor man.